I don't know about you, but I don't want a fun career of coding leaving me with debilitating back issues in the future. And left unchecked, it will. We literally have the most unhealthy jobs, sitting all day at a desk, staring at a bright screen, and doing mentally intensive work that often leaves us missing breaks, meals, physical exercise, and sometimes even looking up and realizing that we haven't even seen the sun in person all day. Compare this to someone working in construction, or a plumber, or anyone working with their hands, or standing, moving, or lifting all day. We really have to be proactive here. And for me, there are three key ingredients to a physically healthy life as a developer. Number one, a standing desk. And don't get caught up in the specifics here. It can be a $400 motorized desk. It can be a portable thing that you can stand up on your desk that allows you to stand. Or really just go to the kitchen, open up your laptop and work on the counter. Or at least move to the floor in some different position than you sit in every day normally. Second is exercise. I know a lot of you are walking 10,000 steps a day and that's really good. Body weight workouts, they're sufficient. They require no equipment. And ultimately you just really need the discipline to do it three days a week or four days a week. You can get a squat rack, hang some rings like the Olympic rings from it, and then Google how to do a full body workout with those. Or you can go to a sporting goods store, get a weight set and a bench, whatever floats your boat. But sitting all day at a desk without getting up, without breaking a sweat or lifting heavy things will come back and bite you. And then the third one is the screen. You're staring at a screen all day long. Your whole job requires you sitting in front of this bright light all day. Thus, the screen you pick should also be important. And just a side note, not a very popular take. I don't know where this fad of having like three to four monitors on my desk comes from. Maybe two screens could be enough? But why do we need these bright lights hitting us from all angles? You know, we have all these different ways we gotta look for different things. A couple of years ago, I had two monitors and I got sick of staring at the bevels right in the middle. I had a left right monitor, a left monitor, and I always wanted to stare straight and I just see the bevels in the middle. So I ditched the second one and just went to one one 32 inch monitor. With that in a good window manager, I never looked back. I get my desk space back and I get a minimal feel with the ability to still control multiple things on my screen. And in fact, I even scaled back now to a 27 inch monitor with a good window manager like Magnet if you're on a Mac. And that's all I need. But anyway, that was way off topic. But the monitor is the one piece of the puzzle that I really haven't addressed at all in regards to eye care. However, I came across some new monitors from BenQ that claim to be great on the eyes, and they have some neat features for programmers like you and me. And no, BenQ did not sponsor this video, but in communication with them, they did offer to send me a monitor so that I could give my take on it and whether this would be sufficient for what I'm looking for. And actually they sent me a second one that I don't really need and I'm gonna give away to one of you watching this video, which I'll talk more about here in a minute. And real quick side note, those of you who've been waiting for the coding community to reopen, there's an announcement coming early this week. We've done a complete rebrand, there's a new website, and there's there's lots of things planned. I think you're gonna love it. So if you wanna be notified, make sure you go to travis.media slash community and sign up for the email list to be notified of that announcement coming soon. So the monitor we're looking at today is the GW90QT 27 inch monitor. There's also a 32 inch version. And here's some quick stats. This version is a QHD, Quad HD resolution. So 2560 by 1440, 109 PPI, 75 Hertz refresh rate, 99% sRGB color gamut, has two USB-C ports, one of them delivering 65 watts of power, so it charges my computer while plugged in. It has three USB-A ports, an HDMI port, and a display port in and out. It also has a built-in microphone that has an AI noise canceling technology that actually works pretty well. But as we all know, built-in mics or even speakers on monitors can only sound so good. But what's cool is there's a nice on and off switch right here on the keyboard. I like that. So it's a modern USB-C charging monitor with all of the features you'd want for your everyday need. But let's discuss what's up with this eye care technology. That's what we wanted to get at to begin with. So they have this feature called brightness intelligence, which adjusts display brightness and color temperature to determine the most comfortable viewing experience. The BI sensor, you'll see this right here on the front, this little sensor under the monitor, can detect screen content and environmental lighting. And then it adapts the display image accordingly to help eliminate headaches, eye strain, and fatigue. A sensor detects ambient lighting and then auto adjusts the screen's brightness optimally. So there's this software that comes with it. And you'll see there's a number of options. Right now I have the brightness intelligence on. So if I actually set something in front of that sensor, it'll think it's dark in my room and you'll see the adjustment being made on the screen. And if I remove it, 
you'll see that it makes another adjustment. You'll see here that the brightness intelligence is enabled, which will adjust my screen brightness automatically. Then there's a light sensor that can tell you, hey, it's too dark in the room currently. It'll alert you on the screen. And then there's a distance reminder, which will remind you to keep a proper distance from the screen. So if I turn that on, that's activated. If I get too close to the screen, look at this. Getting too close to the screen, please keep distance. That's just me putting my hand in front of the sensor. And then this light reminder is activated and it's telling me, hey, it's too dark here. Please turn on the light. So that's kind of neat. It's a good reminder. So let me cut these two off. And of course I can cut this brightness intelligence off as well. And let me show you some of these color modes. You won't be able to see this on the screen. I'll have to set up a camera, but anyway, I've actually been leaving it in care mode. So care mode is for online learning with low contrast and high saturation. There's a standard, there's a coding, which is actually high contrast and saturation. So it's the opposite of the care mode. It helps your code pop more. There's an M book that minimizes the visual differences between the monitor and the connected MacBook. So it's supposed to simulate what the MacBook looks like. There's movie cinema mode for viewing videos, game mode for playing video games, and then e-paper, which I'll show you in a minute. And then of course there's a user which applies a combination of different settings that you can set. So first, let me show you this coding mode. Coding and boom. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then I'll just cycle through these. They probably won't look amazing because I'm having to video it, but they do look really, really good. And then finally, they have this blue light protection. So you can bump this up to get rid of the blue light. There's five different levels that removes that blue light from your screen. So if it's in the evening or it's just bothering you, you can turn that up. I'm gonna turn it back down. And then of course the brightness and the volume and all that's here. And then there's a timer where you can set breaks, force break, lock screen. So you can force yourself to have to get up or stop working for a little while. Lots of options here. There's also flicker-free technology. So the BenQ team got with some ophthalmologists, figured out how to resolve distracting flickers, and they made these monitors flicker-free. Now, another thing that's neat is there's a color weakness mode. So color vision deficiency affects 8% of men and 0.5% of women. And so they did some research on how they could help out with colorblind people. There's this option here called color weakness mode, where you have red and green filters to customize the amount of red or green displayed on the screen. Now people with those deficiencies can distinguish between colors better. So there's lots of options here for eye health. You can take out the saturation, you can add the saturation, you can make it look like a Kindle, like a MacBook. It can automatically adjust your brightness and inform you when things are too dim. And then you can set timers that will literally lock you out so you have to stand up and go do something. Very nice technology. And I'm not even explaining half of it. You should go in and read the science behind it. There's lots of science here. You can check that out on your own. But here are my thoughts. If you get headaches, eye strain, or eye fatigue regularly, then this monitor might be just what you need. I don't really have these problems yet, but prevention is always better than cure. Overall, I like the features it provides. It doesn't take away from my monitor experience, it only adds to it. And the technology really is ahead of most of the other monitor companies that don't really place an emphasis on eye care. As for image quality, it's okay. I mean, it's a $279 monitor. It's very affordable, but you can't expect it to be a high-end design monitor that you pay 1500 bucks for, where things are perfectly calibrated. But there's nothing bad in the images. If you're coding, browsing the web, doing business-related stuff, you won't notice any difference. I actually use another BenQ that I paid almost a thousand for. I'm gonna expect that that one's a little clearer. It's also a 4K, but I'm gonna expect that to be clearer than this one. But I don't see any issues here. So get a standing desk, work out regularly, and then consider doing something about this monitor blasting you in the face all day. If you wanna check these out, I'll put a link down below. Now let me talk about this giveaway. I was also sent the GW85TC 27 inch, which is similar, but it's a FHD, full HD, not a quad HD. And I don't need two of these. So I thought I'd give one away to one of you viewers. And I'm gonna announce it a week from today. So next Sunday, February 4th, I think it is. All you have to do is three things. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment of how you set your monitors up. Do you do two monitors? Do you like a 32 inch, 24 inch? How do you set it up? So like, subscribe, leave that comment. And next week, I'll reply to one of the comments to get further info from you so that I can ship you this monitor. So in a week's time, check your comment and see if you got a reply. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, again, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.